What's up, everybody? My name is Stephen. What's your name? Today, we're going to learn how to ask and answer this question more naturally. Speaking naturally means that our speaking doesn't sound forced. Practicing our answers for questions makes it easier to sound more natural. Sometimes we want to sound casual as well. In a job interview, we speak differently than we do when making a new friend. This is the difference between speaking in a formal way and a casual way. Now, when we meet someone new, we decide a lot of how we feel about them very quickly. This is called a first impression. First impressions are important in so many situations, like job interviews, making new friends, or finally talking to that girl you like. This will be the first video in our new series all about teaching you to make a great first impression by asking and answering some simple introductory questions naturally. We'll start with one of the first questions you'll ask or be asked in any introduction. What is your name? Or to sound more natural, you can put the word what and the word is together into the contraction what. What? What's your name? Now, let's practice our answer. My name is Stephen. Again, to sound more natural, we can put together the word name and the word is. Names. Names. My name's Stephen. If you want to sound casual, you can just say, I'm Steven. Maybe you have a nickname. This is either a shorter version of your name or just a different name that you like to be called. To tell someone your nickname, you can answer the question like this. My name's Steven, but you can call me Steve. Or, to be more casual, my name's Steven. But my friends call me Steve. Now, when someone asks your name, it is good to ask their name as well, or you may seem rude. To ask their name, you first answer their question. My name's Steven. And add on one of these short phrases. What is, or what's yours? What's yours? Or, and you? Or, what about you? So all together, someone asks me, what is your name? And I say, my name's Steven, but you can call me Steve. What about you? Excellent. Now let's move on to another question. How old are you? We really only ask this question in one way. How old are you? But we have a few ways to answer it. The full way of answering this is, I am 26 years old. I hear many of my students saying, I am six year old, or I am 20 year old. Can you hear what's wrong with that answer? It's not year. It's years. One year, two years, or 20 years. We can shorten this answer a bit by putting the word I and am together to say I'm. I'm 26 years old. To be more casual, we can shorten it more and say I'm 26. Again, it's polite to ask the other person as well. 
You can ask them the same way as you did before, with their name. I'm 26. What about you? Okay, that's all for today. To make these questions and answers sound natural, you'll have to practice saying them more than just once. If this video helped you, then like it. And if you're new here, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned to the rest of this series and all of our other new videos. If you want to get serious about speaking English, you'll need to get into a good English course. For more information about Lang the Master's English courses, put your phone number and your email address in the comment box below. In part two, we are going to learn how to ask and answer the question, how are you, without sounding like a robot. Don't miss it. See you soon.